at the age of 20, I thought my life was over. Still to this day, I remember the night 22 years ago and I remember how I felt. I remember the darkness, I remember the music. I remember thinking, this is it. I also remember thinking, I don't want to be a burden anymore for my parents. Back then I was a student and I was struggling financially and my parents could not support me. I had to work multiple jobs during my studies and due to circumstances, I didn't pass all my exams, which brought me into a difficult situation. Then I did not see a way out. I didn't see any other option. And I could not share my thoughts with anyone. The stigma around suicide was way too high. I was too embarrassed and too scared to speak about this with anyone. Not my friends, my family, no one at the university. Now, years later, at the age of 42, I know struggles and obstacles are part of life. I'm so glad I survived. I didn't die at the age of 20. I learned to be aware of obstacles. I learned to accept them. It is possible to try to turn every situation around. It's crucial to be optimistic every day. And that's what I try to implement in my life on a daily basis. And now in my role as a teacher and as a scientist, I can relate to those that come to me and share their stories on suicide with me. A lot of people from both my university as well as others come to me with stories on suicide attempts from themselves or a loved one, a family member. These stories are every time heartbreaking, but so crucial to share. Because when we share these stories, we can break the stigma one story at a time. When people are not afraid anymore to speak about the subject, they can ask for help, seek professional help, or simply say, hey, can you help me? And it takes a lot of courage to do so. I learned that firsthand in my personal experience. So I find it of utmost importance that we are working together as a team, that we work across all faculties at the university, the hospital communities, that we include mental health organizations, that we involve everyone and then we work together towards this goal of breaking the stigma of not only suicide, but academic mental health in general. One thing we have done at our university is that we founded a group called Flourish Maastricht. In this group, we want to increase the literacy around academic mental health. We provide resources, support, we organize various events, such as suicide prevention workshops. Together with the Dutch suicide organization 113. These things taken together also break the stigma. Overall, it is important that we increase the knowledge around suicide as well as academic mental health in general. Knowing you are not alone also breaks the stigma. That you feel seen and heard. A lot of students come to me and tell me that they have read stories from my blog or articles I've written on the subject. They tell me, hey, I trust you. I think you are, I am at the right address with you. You have experienced a suicide attempt yourself. 
you have dealt with these thoughts so i can speak speak up about this with you you understand you can relate and all this is helping to break the stigma as well even more so it has a snowball effect one person tells another story to someone else I'm grateful that this is happening. If we keep going like this, we can help more people and save lives. Hiding these suicidal thoughts or any type of diagnose, sexual orientation, any type of chronic illness, miscarriage, infertility, grief, loss, or simply your tattoos as a form of self-expression can be very exhausting and challenging. I truly believe that all of this should not matter. I believe that skin color, sexual orientation, any type of clothing you wear, tattoos, your cultural and your societal background, whether you're first generation student or not, religion, all of this should not matter. And you never know who you're going to inspire with your story. My suggestion to you is share your story with another student, with a colleague, with a PhD student, anyone in your group. Because with this wonderful snowball effect, people feel less alone they feel seen and heard and they then themselves dare to speak up and potentially ask for help or even professional help from a counselor or therapist no diagnose mental health or physical health related should be kept as a secret if people want to speak about this. It is truly exhausting to keep this to yourself. And I believe that over time we will get there. Personally, I feel already really supported at my university and I feel that I'm in an incredible community of like-minded people at my faculty and also within the Maastricht Young Academy or connected with various mental health organizations such as at ease, which is also associated to our university. The world is full of amazing and caring people who want to help and who want to make academia a better place. Thank you for helping to break the stigma of suicide and academic mental health. And last but not least, be kind, be you, and you matter. You truly matter. Thank you.